409 Sports, brought to you by Golden Triangle Emergency Center, Orange. Good evening, sports fans. I'll tell you what, it's been an exciting day. We're out here at the Alamo Dome in beautiful San Antonio. I'm here with Holton Pepper and Silsby Tigers. They got the win earlier today. They're going to the championship game. Beaumont United is trying to get the job done behind us right now. But Silsby, they played an incredible game, and now they're moving on to the next round. It, is an out, it was an outstanding game, for, a great performance by the Tigers, both offensively and defensively. They really had a mindset to come in here and dominate and do the things that they want to do to get themselves in a situation where they can compete for the state title. So, in saying that, after the game, we heard from Draylon Miller and Coach after the game, just talking to those guys, seeing what their mindset was going into today's game, but knowing the job is not finished going into tomorrow. At this point, it really doesn't matter. Uh, we are now, you know, you have seven playoff games. I'll tell these guys, we went down one of seven all the way. Now we're seven of seven. We got to do our best to, uh, to, to get that seventh win. You know, Coach always tells me he's got to fight through adversity. You know, I got a lot of fouls. I had to sit for a minute. But, you know, I know these two is going to uh, keep the game going, keep me up. And, you know, I just got to play through that next play. That way he said, you know, it feels amazing. But, you know, the, uh, the goal is not done yet. We'll celebrate this one, but tomorrow right back at it. They do have one more game left, and they're going to give it their all. That'll be tomorrow night at 7. But we have to get to the lecture at hand. Right now, Beaumont United is in a battle with Stony Point. They are down by three with 53 seconds left in this game. Actually, I think they just hit a free throw, so now they're down four. And Holton, this game has been a lot closer than we expected it to be. Really, really because of the fact that in the first half, we thought that potentially Beaumont United probably wasn't going to pull away at all in this right. one. It was There was a big lead by Stony Point there at the beginning. And, I mean, they had a guy who had who had 16 points going into the, in the halftime, yeah. and now they've iced him. He only has yeah. 19 for the game right yeah. now. And Clarence Paye, in absence of Cade Dotson, has pulled really out and a, a magical performance, 27 yeah. points so far. Mm -hmm. But it's going to take everything they got with 53 seconds left in this one. And this one has been just wild all the way. The Beaumont United ended the first quarter in the lead. They go into halftime down five, and now it's been back and forth from the third quarter down into the fourth. And now we're starting to get to that time where the fouls and the free throws and the, the, uh, the, the stamina is going to start playing yeah. a role in this game. But I'm telling you what. I have not seen these guys fight this hard this whole season. And Stony Point is really good. They have one loss on the season. They're 37 and one. And hopefully Beaumont United can give them their second one tonight. This game is still going. Yeah. We're going to find out how yeah. it ends. Yeah, we, the, the experience, we were talking earlier about the experience. You would think yep. that Beaumont United, their experience at this level and playing against a team that this is their first time here, yeah. then it may give them that upper hand. But losing right. Kay Dodson was such a key, key thing for right, them in this right, game. Right, right. And you know what? We're going to find out what happens, and we're going to bring you all the highlights that you need online and on air tomorrow at uh, 12news.com. So, Brenda, we're going to go back and finish watching this game. Yeah. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Y'all enjoy it. Another nail biter. We can't wait for the results, of course. We hope you guys post them on 12newsnow.com. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Holton.